Talk to you guys real quick about what it takes to paint one of these lattice patio covers, how I do it. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do these. A lot of guys and all that paint on the ground is not for me. Um, that's an other color. I haven't worked on that color ever. So you can see that's not our color at all. Um, but I'm going to talk to you guys about what it takes to do these and uh, how I do them. Now, a lot of guys will cover up the entire ground. Um, you don't necessarily have to if you've got everything set up right. If you've got your pressure right, you got your paint set up right, you should not be dripping on the ground. So, um, but on occasionally, you know, I'll throw down drops just to just as I wash for a customer. But it has nothing. And there's there won't be any paint on them. So that's the key thing. Um, so you know, there's times when you need to do that. But I want to talk to you guys about what I normally do. So um, there's a couple different ways to do these. Is um, and we'll probably try and demo some of this stuff. I don't know if I'll get it all in this video. Um, but what I normally do is I'll cover the tops, and normally I do that with drop cloths. Sometimes I'll use plastic, depends. But I'll just cover the stops, and then I'll gather up the ply. If I use plastic, I'll gather it up and put multiple layers, and just put a staple every five or six feet, just a few staples, just to hold it there, and gather it up and put it through several layers, so that you can just grab it and pull it, and the staple falls back out. Then I'll spray upward two angles. So I'll spray this way. Okay, then I'll spray it this way. But I'll usually spray this direction, let it dry. Then I'll spray this direction so I don't have drips. Okay, even when I use a drop cloth, sometimes you get drips if you put it on too heavy. And then what I do is after I'm done doing all that, I'll spray the corners and edges. Some of those I end up brushing and rolling the edges. And uh, that comes out really nice when you put the roller on the edge all along the edge here I'll use a roller and just dab the edge really nice to get the paint in there um, I do not put enamel or semi gloss satin all those anything with a that seals the wood um, I do not put that on patio covers um, because unless the wood is completely 100% sealed if the water gets in anywhere your paints gonna peel off in sheets so keep that in mind um, if you use flat paint, flat paint breeze, if you use a 100% acrylic flat, it'll last longer than enamel typically, if it's done right. Okay, so then I'll go through and I'll do the same thing on the top. So I'll take the plastic and we'll stretch it across the bottom. I'll staple it along these things here, about five feet, uh, and, and gathered through several layers about, you know, roll it up and put it put a staple through several layers so that when you grab it you can just pull it off and then a staple will come back out you don't have to climb up on ladders or anything like that and i'll spray the top down so i'll spray down the same way two angles this way and this way so that the top very top edge you get two coats the sides get two coats the bottom gets two coats and the edge gets two coats one upward direction one downward direction now you don't have any misses so uh, I never get called back for patio cover misses um, because uh, I just don't miss them. So, um, so anyway, that's how you do it. And then when I do these poles, of course, these always get chased with a brush and roller. I will run these in the center of these. I will run my fan edge right to where my finger is right here. Or my fan edge to here, I'll go up this direction and go down that direction. I never blow off ever. So. Um, if, if you can't spray without blowing off, then you need to brush and roll them all. Uh, if you can do it without, with, if you can do it with blow, without blowing off, you, sh you should be able to, at some point in your spraying, you should be to the point where you can do it without blowing off ever. And then I don't have to cover the concrete because it doesn't get anything on it. Nothing. I don't have any overspray. I don't have any, because it turns to dust within, if you use it straight out of the can. Um, if you're using it, um, thinned that's when you're gonna have problems you're gonna have problems by because you don't have a big enough spray rig to to run it um, you need at least a 0 0.55 gallon per minute or 0 0.5 gallon per minute spray rig when you're doing any kind of paint work if you want to do any of the stuff that I'm showing you in the videos that I have so just a couple of pointers on how to do it 
Um, at some point we should be able to demo doing this here later today or tomorrow and uh, you can check it out. We'll see, I'll do sections of this and then uh, probably post those as well. Stay subscribed. Talk to you in the next video or the next, or the next section, whatever I decide to do.